Good evening and welcome to the April 2024 meeting of the Penfield Historic Preservation Board. I'm Tom Combs, the chairman. Um, we'll call the meeting to order. Uh, first thing is the approval of the minutes from the March meeting. Um, can I have a motion? I'll make a motion. So moved. I'll second. And a second. Any uh, comments, additions, edits to the minutes? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Uh, just, just one comment on, on the uh, minutes, because in there, uh, Shannon documented the suggestion that we had talked about to uh, add some language to, uh, to our, uh, our code, I guess you can call it, of the, uh, what's required with the Certificate of applica ap Appropriateness application that addresses um, special conditions relative to materials that, um, that we would recommend being used for uh, or, or applied for in, in those uh, applications. And um, at some point, I guess, Shannon, you had suggested that you'd look into what it takes to, to change the language. Yes, so I just realized I didn't put that on the agenda, but I do have an update. Um, so I talked to Carrie Ivers, um, Director of Developmental Services here at the town, um, about possibly adding that to our code. Um, so in order to do that, it would be an adoption of a local law. Um, so we are working with the town attorney, um, making sure that the language is appropriate um, and that it would be beneficial to add it to our code and then it will go through the town board to be adopted into um, our code. So um, basically we're just waiting on word from the town attorney, but um, Carrie did seem to think it was a good, um, a good addition to the code for you guys mm -hmm. and for the residents. All right, I was gonna ask about that, uh, whether we draft the language. We said the, the, the town will draft the language. Yep, so basically we'll take the exact language from the Parrington Code, and then I basically forwarded that to the town attorney. He'll review the, you can say here. He'll review the, the language um, and just see if we feel there is any need for edits or changes there. And then I can run it by you guys to probably just be a quick email because it would probably happen before our next meeting. Yeah, I, we, we, of course we would like to see it before yep. it um, becomes official. Yeah, okay. so I'll keep you guys updated on, on that as we move through. Okay, thank you. Um, next item is an introduction. We have a new uh, new board member tonight. Uh, we welcome Megan Clem, and I thought I'd give you a, a minute or two or wh whatever you'd like to uh, introduce yourself and give us a little background on, on uh, your your history with preservation. Sure. Thank you. This um, yeah. Um, so yes, I'm Megan Clem. I'm excited to be here on the Penfield Preservation Board. Um, I have pretty much spent the past 12 plus years of my career working in historic preservation. Uh, so I started out, I got my master's in interior architecture with a concentration in historic preservation from um, UNC Greensboro. And from there I moved on to work for a preservation architecture firm as their interior designer and their preservation specialist. So I did things like write national register nominations, do buildings assessments, um, helped with the layouts of our projects and then did all the tax credit applications for them. And then I spent a few years down in Maryland working for the um, Maryland Historical Trust, which is their state historic preservation office, as a state and federal tax credit reviewer. So a lot of experience with reviewing preservation projects. And about almost four years ago now, I came back to the Rochester area. I work for the Landmark Society of Western New York now as their director of preservation services and I oversee our consulting services, so writing National Register nominations, doing historic resource surveys. Um, I'm our lead advocacy for, lead staff for advocacy issues, um, and do a lot of uh, homeowner, developer, architect guidance for um, appropriate treatments of historic buildings. And um, yeah, um, so pretty broad background in preservation. Oh, that's great, that's great experience and will be, will be very helpful for us. Thank you. Okay, um, going down to, we, we have a, a, a clock house update. Um, you remember the discussion from 
from the last meeting, uh, we, we had representatives from both Barrow and Bergman Architects here, and they took us through a whole series of questions relative to the, the rehab of the, of the house, and we gave them our, our opinions and recommendations with respect to how we would like to see things, um, see things handled. And uh, Chan, I think you did a, a very comprehensive job of drafting that. I thought it was a very complete uh, for what the things that we talked about that night. Um, is there any, any new update? Uh, no, I mostly wanted to keep it on the agenda, just a review with you guys that I did put together um, the discussion and your decisions. I passed that along to Bergman and to Jennifer Ahrens at Barrow, just to review, make sure that they understood it as I understood it. Um, they didn't have any major edits, um, so everything looks like it's good to go for now. I haven't heard any updates since then, um, so I assume they're just continuing to work through the mm. project. So still no notice of a schedule for for the demolition, et cetera? No, I haven't heard anything, but I will actually, um, I'll check in with Eric Tate just to make sure um, that nothing drastic has changed mm -hmm. um, or that, I, I mean, if we do have a schedule, obviously I would like it and I'd like to pass it on to you guys. Yeah. So I'll just, I'll just do a quick little check in with him because I, um, I haven't heard anything since mm -hmm. our meeting. We, we still have our, our certificate of appropriateness for the demolition to yes. do. Yep, for the demolition and for the rehabilitation of the 1832 portion. So really this document that we put together, um, well, the discussion and then the document is just a guide right now. They still have to get the certificate of appropriateness to do the work. Mm -hmm. Okay. They think that would be kind of the first thing they would need. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll see how um, how they want to do, what order they want to do that in the timeline, and I, I assume Eric will be handling most of that. Mm. So I'll do a quick check-in with him to, to just make sure everything's still going as scheduled. Okay, thank you. Um, on our agenda also, we have uh, just a reminder with respect to new board members. We still have, uh, with, with the addition of Megan, we're... we're just down one one person, um, so we're still hoping to get the that open spot filled. I don't know, Kevin. Do you have any update on that? I think you've been involved in. Yes, I've been involved in it, and basically we conducted the interviews. We did decide on Megan, mm -hmm. and uh, then uh, we are we have not yet made the other decision. So hopefully we'll be making that soon. All right. Well, uh, please keep us. Uh, posted and involved as appropriate. Um, and then the Jeff Crane Award. Shannon, any, uh, any update on, on that? Yeah, so um, we did decide on a recipient. Um, I'm still waiting to officially announce it. Um, I'm currently working with them to set up a time that we can present them with the award and have a small gathering. Um, so I'm just waiting to finalize everything before we officially announce it, and then we'll get like the plaque ordered and everything mm -hmm. to make it official. So um, hopefully by the next meeting that will be all wrapped up, because we were kind of hoping to do that during preservation month, um, mm -hmm. which is May. So um, just waiting for feedback from them on a good time to work it out. All right, well, hopefully if you can get a couple of options for dates so we can get as many many of our team as possible to uh, who, who might be free to join in that day. Yeah, yeah, and I assume um, the town supervisor would probably like to attend and oh, great. open it up to, to whoever in the community would like to be there. So yeah. um, once I get them, um, you know, nailed down for some dates, I'll pass that along to you guys probably by email, um, hopefully get it settled before our next meeting. Okay. Very good. Um, there is nothing other, uh, nothing else on the agenda for tonight. Is there anything that anyone wants to uh, talk about? What's the end of the Well, we were just saying that Shannon and I are on that committee. We haven't heard anything from them for for a bit. I think they were waiting for that uh, the structural review. To, to take place before before you know, 
proceeding in any fashion? Yeah, the project did go out to bid. There was only one application, um, and I think that they were just reviewing the application, seeing if it should be accepted. I don't know. Do you have any updates on that, Kevin? Yeah, we, we, I believe we did vote was to it accept accepted? that. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so that will be moving forward. I have no idea on a time frame, though, when they're going to be starting. Yeah, I haven't heard anything recent um, about progress or where we are in that. Um, we haven't had a committee meeting in a few months. Yeah. Would they be able to fix the tarp on the roof? I'm going to reach out to Eric and make sure that they're aware of it. And then I can also reach out to Carrie and see if there's any update on timeline on things and when we'll have our next committee meeting and what we'll be discussing. Yeah. Well, I'm sure they can fix it. Um, yeah. Well, it was will, they, will they, I guess. <coughs> if it's getting, <coughs> sorry, they're going to be a little while doing this assessment and then construction. So probably be good to protect it from the weather. Yeah. Between now and then, did, did it look like it was torn or just yeah, loose? Yeah, it was torn pretty bad. Well, then it's going to have to be replaced. And mm -hmm. Hmm. okay, um, any any other comments, issues? Then uh, could I have a motion from somebody to uh, adjourn? Okay, to adjourn. All right, we are adjourned. Great. Thank you, everyone. Thank you to PCTV.